how to go through a particular chassis development process available in our scheme we have gone for task based planning in particular subject so the objectives which are identified for this subject are to increase knowledge in depth knowledge about automobile chassis and body and to give engineering aspect to the development what we offer and the other important objective of the subject is to understand the methods behind automobile chassis and body development and the engineering aspects for development of various concepts in automobile chassis and body development or manufacturing the scheme for particular subject will go like this you will have 3 hours of lecture session individually which is in online session will cover it in different way but the basic terminology would be like this i am going to take unit 4 5 and 6 which is relating to commercial vehicles its body manufacturing its chassis manufacturing and materials utilized for development of automobile body and also for various applications identified in automobile when we are seeing an automobile it is constructed with different components starting from wheels to the upper body of automobile so each and every component will have its own design aspect as well it will have its own consideration for development and manufacturing so whenever we see an automobile we must have to go through the concept development process of individual component we have already seen vehicles base vehicles like bicycle to the heaviest vehicles to carry materials as well humans to space so in each case we'll have various development procedures which is relating to various material and each material will have its own manufacturing and and uh, production aspect what we need to analyze and study in unit number 4 we will basically target types of commercial vehicles types of body profiles in commercial vehicles how a component as a platform can be designed in manufacturing of automobile and assembled as well which kind of materials or cross section profiles are analyzed that is also an important aspect to study light commercial vehicle body types are classified in different way that is also going to cover in this session how a driver's seat can be designed ergonomically as well as aesthetic, aesthetically and how driver cabin or cab design can be implemented or developed what are the consideration behind development of driver seat for his comfort when he travels he or she travels for long region or duration then the ne next important aspect in, in unit 4 is stiffer body designs the material when it is loaded on the carriers or carriages loading is easy and unloading will take much time and it is also time consuming as well cost consuming so how to unload easily that is the aspect which have been implemented in tipper body so we'll go through considerations of design in tipper body configurations in commercial vehicle how much load a system can carry i'll also show some images of different configuration for the specific automobiles unit number 5 will relate to the design aspect for production as we are aware whenever we want to design any component mechanical components or automobile components it will relate to load criteria applied on particular component so if we are saying an automobile wheel is there then that wheel is also subjected to load applied by the 
material which is loaded on that vehicle or the passengers available in that vehicle so that load as well the body load in unit number 5 we'll study the idealized structure structural surfaces and for, for designing those structural surfaces a shear panel method is used we'll go through the study of shear panel method symmetric and asymmetric vertical loads in car how they are acting on a car and automobile as well commercial vehicle and how longitudinal loads and other loading conditions have been applied to each and every component of automobile in our case we'll go through the concepts of commercial vehicles and loadings on commercial vehicle how chassis frame can be designed and developed for construction of commercial vehicle that is that is also an interesting aspect to study so we'll go through those details also construction of doors door apertures windows as we are aware that a singular construction when it is made and a splitted construction when it is made in both cases the strength of the body profile will be different so when you split a body in multiple parts to maintain its strength is difficult aspect so we'll go through the construction details of door and door apertures also as well window and the strengthening of profile when it is designed as a window spare wheel carrier construction and design of different types of commercial vehicles to carry weight and to have its proper distribution on whole channel and whole floor is also an important aspect to study the sources of body noise testing and methods to eliminate those kinds of noises here noise doesn't mean the sound what it makes here noise means the errors developed while doing different kinds of tests on automobile body and here water leakage test in commercial vehicle is also an important aspect we'll go through certain videos on leak test as well other tests carried out on automobiles also so unit 5 will give you detailed understanding of how you will be able to design and develop commercial vehicle and unit 4 will give you perspective of what should be designed and how it should be designed the unit 6 is majorly concentrating on materials which are utilized for development of automobiles in previous era we have been using singular material to develop automobiles the ratha what we observe was the simple construction or complex construction made by made from wood in previous days before decades and nowadays the uh, wagons train wagons are made from steels as well aluminum they are also using frp materials to make the internal components of automobiles they are going through plastic for development of internal parts of automobiles which also require strength but profiling how been done in different ways to maintain strength inside as well outside the construction what we see the wind screen backlight and window glasses are also relating to different materials and the material important importance of studying the materials is due to the strength requirement in each and every component inside an automobile body so in commercial vehicle as well in general automobiles for personal use these all things selection of material are going to be important important study aspect you can even do project on selection of material done by different companies you can also have project of cuffin glass investigation development and analysis of cuffin glasses utilized for automobile you can also go for image processing of different uh, glasses when they are getting failed in different accidental conditions then this this can also be good project 
where you can have just image of the bro broken broken glass of windshield as well different glass and you can analyze that or compare that with different failure criteria and you can get a failure criteria this can also be a good project you can also have project on analyzing failure criteria or crash criteria in different automobiles so you can uh, visit uh, uh, the service centers where the failed cars or crashed cars are gathered and you can take image and compare it with the previous car so this comparison can give you comparison can give you good approach of analyzing different conditions crash conditions for that physical testing crash testing is not required you can just go for analyzing images and this can give you good job in industries where automobile is the development of automobile and analyzing the automobile criteria and testing the automobiles for different cases will be the approach of company you can even have a startup of analyzing failure criteria by developing software of image processing for these cases at last i will in in last 5 minutes i'll allow you to have questions and conversation so if you are having any queries you can write it down and we can have discussion on it also the uh, last important parameter in body materials are composite materials we are aware that using steel will increase the uh, strength of automobile but mean time it is also increasing weight so the inertia carrying capability of engine and the uh, other components should also be increased so if your body is heavy to carry that body you need heavy chassis or good profiled chassis which sustain that load for long time and you also have to take care about rusting of automobile components due to uh, the electrochemical effects as well due to the rain so it becomes crucial to handle steels in this cases we have we also have seen different uh, different automobiles commercial automobiles which have been rusted within one year so if it it faces scratches then it will get rusted so for that also we need to identify solution and to provide that solution we are switching over to composite materials we are also taking care of corrosion rejection methods how we can go for reduction of corrosion in material every time painting for painting the components for multiple times cannot be a solution so we can go for Uh, galvanization of particular sheets but in case of aluminum that is also a crucial process we are not able to do that on larger scale so steel can be gal galvanized so we can use steel for commercial bodies for in improved strength but it, it can be galvanized we can also use profiles which can be placed on automobile body so that the possibility of corrosion can be reduced so we'll go through all those aspects in unit number 6 it is going to be an important unit for study and i will also give you some project ideas depending on different cases during the learning what we carry out in this subject so now i'll start with the commercial vehicle and its detailing types of body profiles and all other criteria commercial vehicles are the vehicles which are used for commercial aspects you can have commercial vehicle to transport materials as well to do public transport in commercial way so here what we study basically will be concentrating on vehicles which are running on the road then further we can expand it for detailed study for uh, vehicles commercial commercial assemblies which are running on uh, on water as, as well which are running on railways as well which are running in air 
uh, so we'll go through details of those also but it would be a small session we'll majorly concentrate on on road vehicles or commercial vehicles so types of body flat platform drop side fixed side tipper body tanker body and l tvs light commercial vehicles these are the basic body types what we go through during understanding or learning of particular subject dimensions of driver seat is going to be the second approach what we are going to study and tipper body designs and weight considerations will be the third criteria what we are going to study in unit number 4 how commercial vehicles are constructed the general construction criteria what we see is depending on what we want to carry in those particular automobiles or vehicles aluminum is extensively used to develop platforms which is which are carrying the load majorly to have good strength durability and we must have to make those profiles platforms light in weight so we are going to apply aluminum profiles on it when i am saying aluminum and aluminum profile both are different things aluminum you can have sheet metal sheet metal plate of it and when i am saying aluminum profile it is c section box section or channel sections different kinds of channel sections which are made to carry load on larger aspect a sheet metal when it is holded from two end and loaded from the center will bend but when we use profiled sections it will not bend from the center so the strength of profiled section will be more as compared to just sheet metal many or of uh, many on the less expensive light chassis have cheaper factory built timber or steel bodies also so if you want to make it with aluminum profiles you can make it you can also use uh wood or timber to have distribution of loads and to reduce scratching so we'll go for development of floor using different channels as for the application you can go for j kind of channels you can go for c sections you can go for box sections we'll see which kind of sections are there which are implemented in automobile platforms in particular commercial vehicles here our target is to study commercial vehicle and its body constructions as well platform constructions we'll go for it and after completion of a few sessions on this we'll also go on discussion of automobile body types and body profiles development of it welding of it construction criteria all those details a special rear bearer incorporating shroud plate is also used sometime how it looks we'll see it in uh, other lectures next lectures what we carry out so there are two types of side rails available we, we can also have a chalk rail we'll go for it, its image also so you can understand it clearly head boards are also there we can also have bulk head pillars which are bolted on the platform so we can have different kinds of constructions depending on heavy duty and light duty configurations which kind of uh, configuration of platforms are developed flat platforms drop side and fixed side a flat platform is flat structure consist of floor blade with edge members and beam which are used to mount the engine and suspension elements the next is drop side from the sideways we are able to define a movement of the board so that you will be able to load and unload components easily so we'll go through its images also a drop side body is a flat platform with hinge sides and tail boards held in the upright position by fastening short vehicle pillar vertical pillars that are generally removable we have generally seen this kind of drop side construction in tractor trolleys i'll show its image also the sides are normally made up by interlocking hollow plank sections we'll go through that image also 
then the tipper body constructions those are generally having hinge at the uh, at the rear section and the whole uh, whole body is lifted up whole carrier is load carrying uh, region is lifted up in different sections to unload the material available inside it fixed bodies are also there it will have side pillars which are fastened or folded on some pillars the light commercial vehicles are having certain criteria of observation we can have production vans in production vans we may have standard one chassis cabs and chassis dash these are different kinds of classification the panel vans are those kinds of vans which are there to carry certain capacity of load they are lighter in construction and standard automobile chassis is configured in particular way to carry some loads you can even say panel vans are there which uh, when, when you see the uh, the medical vans which are carrying you can say commercial medical vans which carries patients to the hospital ambulance services which are carrying patients to the hospitals are also panel vans which will have large space available behind the driver cabin or driver region so the bodies are generally still pressing with large doors to facilitate entry exit it will have access from just three regions you can have access within it or you can enter inside that construction from the driver side from the uh, uh, side which is available besides the driver side as well from the rear section the other chassis cabins would be like this you will have chassis cab and chassis dash constructions the chassis cab construction construction can also be modified to become the tipper body to have the configuration of tipper body uh, general the uh, food carrying vans are chassis cabs so that you will be able to implement air conditioners or free, fro, uh, to froze the material available agriculture material available to froze them you are also able to implement coolers and chillers inside it and the fish uh, fish as well the meat as well the fresh vegetables are carried in this kind of vans which are having capabilities of box uh, box configuration and uh, chilling or cooling is possible inside those ones the chassis dashes are single configuration where we majorly separate out cabin <coughs> cabin by just a panel but whole chilling or cooling available inside that assembly would be as a single construction rather than splitted construction what we see in chassis cabs so this are the different constructions of van development of vans the other criteria are the caravans or matador what we see security vans which are uh, which are having uh, money inside it the atm vans also also are also having certain kind of configuration so when you see a van or cab kind of assembly you can not you cannot just bound it to a particular case of carrying material you can also observe it as a configuration which is allowing you to have proper securities of system also and you can also develop it for different kinds of cases you can carry uh, animals also inside this kind of caps if you you are saying uh, the uh, uh the uh, the programs which are showing you material carrying then you will find this kind of caps also then light commercial vehicles when we go through it we can have tanker body constructions how tanker bodies are designed and why they are used the tanker bodies are there to carry liquid as well gaseous components inside it the previous configurations what we have seen are there to carry solid components majorly 
or containers which do have different kinds of configuration liquids or gases in it so if the fluids are bounded in some assembly and we want to shift those whole assemblies rather than just the fluids then we are going for previous constructions but if a huge amount of liquid is needed to be transferred fluid is needed to be transferred we must have to go for tanker body constructions so tanker bodies are also a good uh, you know it can also give you good opportunity in designing design and development of commercial automobiles indian students in uh, in, in uh, who are taking admission in automobile engineering are also they are not concentrating on constructional development features in uh, this commercial vehicles they are just targeting application based developments but you can even take project on how you can reduce stresses in uh, commercial vehicles by optimizing the available components in it as well by optimizing the behavioral application tanker body the tankers which are attached on chassis of commercial vehicle are full with or they are filled with fuels oil milk water varnish edible oils different kinds of chemicals so in those cases in each case the complexity of handling material liquid material or gaseous material are different as we say we are transporting water from one place to other place there is least possibility of getting it blast okay so fuel is getting heat when it is getting heated it may have it may reach above its flash point or flame point and it may define fire but water will never define fire so construction of tanker body for water is different than the construction of tanker body for fuels you need safety features in fuels you won't need safety features rather than just a single valve to uh, uh, one opening and a single valve to feed it and to uh, to uh, uh, remove material from it or to exit exert define a input and exit of material from it so handling water in tanker body is easy as compared to handling fuels in similar way handling milk is difficult why because you need to pasteurize it and you need to keep it cool at particular temperature while transportation if it is more than one or two day transportation there so it is difficult to handle different materials in tankers edible oils the cleaning of tanker is required because if it is uh, you know contaminated then there is no meaning of having that kind of material after transporting it for the large region so we need to apply some safety features we need to assure its safe handling and safe transport so each and every component tankers what we see are different in constructions and they are having their own approach of development we also have to take care about fluid pressure and fluid forces while transportation when a tanker is moving ahead there is inertia of automobile means tanker and uh, tanker chassis tanker assembly as well the inertia of fluid when they apply brake whole force is going to be applied on the front section and as well it will behave as a fluctuating load in front and rear section if you are not applying baffle plates individual baffle plates in it so it is crucial to handle that fluctuating load on tanker body as well on chassis as well it should not define huge impact on cabin where the driver and supporter or conductor are seated so it is difficult to develop tanker body you can also do cfd analysis as a project how to implement different kinds of baffle plates in fluid when it is in static condition inside a tanker body and when it is in dynamic condition inside a, a body so this can be a good project and this will also not consume huge cost you just need to have understanding of code developments as well 3d model development 
you can apply a CFD on those constructions what you develop with 20% infill of uh, of fuel or of water, 30% fill of water, 50%, 80%, all will give you different loading conditions. You can make group of four or five people and you can attempt different conditions on it. So this can be a good project and it will have nearby zero investment to carry out. So this is uh, my session is ending now. So if you are having any kinds of question, you can ask me directly. So questions are allowed. You can ask question. Go ahead. Unmute yourself and ask question. Just go ahead and ask question so that I'll be able to, you know, respond to you. Unmute yourself. Ah, Joy, you can ask question. No question, sir. So if you are not able to speak, you can drop question in chat box also. I can respond from, by reading it from chat box. I, and it is compulsory to ask questions because if you ask question, I can give you more details. Session will end in one minute. Just go on asking questions so that I can respond to you. Or write it in chat box so that I can read it and respond to you. I'm not getting your questions. So I think I can close the meeting but uh, i'll uh, i'll send one google form if you are hang having any query you can drop those queries in that google form as well your attendance is going to be done in that google form so that we can when we meet again we'll have proper understanding what you have uh, you know carried with you what knowledge you have carried with you in this session so i thank you all for attending the lecture and be present in all lectures so that I can convey more and I can also help you to carry out good projects. Thank you, sir. Still, we are having some time if you want to ask questions. 30 seconds are there.